Greetings YouTube, happy Friday. This video serves two points. The first is the title of this video, which is going to be about the Summoner Advancement issue. This is not just about the Summoner Advancement issue right now. This is about the Summoner Advancement issue we've seen the past several weeks that is both causing delays and also potentially almost the uh, mechanic of Summoner Advancement in terms of how the rewards are distributed uh, is changing. In other words, my Alliance, which pretty much puts up the same Summoner Advancement score every week, give or take a few thousand points, we got the top 3% this week, which really shocked me because it's not like we just instantly recruited the Crystal Opening Whale to come join our Alliance for a week. And uh, and that got us over 700 five-star shards, which is the first time I've seen it since being in this Alliance for over a year now. And I was pumped, but I was also confused. It almost felt like there were less alliances in Summoner Advancement, therefore we were a higher rated alliance than usual. And then almost immediately my inbox blew up with people asking about their Summoner Advancement rewards. And of course, I uh, I had no idea because I received mine right away. In fact, I think it was even a little bit earlier than usual, right around 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So we need to talk about Summoner Advancement because if you're waiting on your rewards, and you're looking to switch alliances, you're going to totally miss out on them 100% if you leave your alliance because as this forum post uh, yellow warning indicates, there's an issue causing a delay in paying out of rewards for some advancement in game. Please do not change alliances during this time if you'd like to receive your event rank and peak milestone rewards. But also keep in mind, last week, I didn't make a video about this because I didn't want them to be taken away from anyone, but now it's been over a week, so I don't think Kabam can really do anything about it. But uh, some people receive their Summoner Advance rewards like four times. They got four times what they would normally get, which is awesome. Good job, those of you who, who that happened to, but don't you wish that happened to everybody? Because even if you normally only get 200 four-star shards, the difference between 200 four-star shards and 800 four-star shards is a big big deal. There's also apparently an issue with uh, win bonuses not being awarded after the end of the current alliance war. So uh, yes, they are well aware of that. So that's the first point of this video is just to discuss what is going on with Summoner Advancement. This has been going on for the last several weeks. My Summoner Advancement was delayed like two days last week. And then I only received it once, but that did cause some people, like I said, to receive theirs multiple times, as much as four times as I saw in one user's screenshot. Uh, if you do send me those pictures, I will never reveal your identity, as I do not want Kabam to zero in on your alliance or your name. It is just a pro player move on my part. Go team. Okay, so we now have this release, release of... Uh, Patch 22.0. I remember patch 12.0 like it was yesterday. So there's been 10 patches since then. That's pretty crazy to think about. Actually, probably more than even that. Uh, but uh, Nick Fury, we know that we're going to have champion requirements. Probably two stars ranked up. So rank up your two stars ASAP to have a chance for uh, better rewards, especially a quote-unquote free. When I say free, I mean you don't have to spend cash on it. Five Star Awakening Gym in the new Nick Fury inspired store, and also hopefully things like Six Star Shards, Five Star Shards, and even Tier Two Alpha Catalyst Fragments. Now we knew that She Hulk and Spider Gwen were getting updates, and I, I tell people who ask me all the time, when are those updates going to come into effect? Usually it's in the patch after the beta test is completed. In this case, that follows the exact same line. Now I was complaining for a couple of days about how. Gamora seemed to be a useless character. And I said that completely biasly because I just pulled her from my six-star crystal, breaking my insane luck of getting top-tier six-star champions for like four straight crystals. But now, <laughs> it's like they heard me and wanted that lucky streak to keep going because Gamora can now stack Fury and Cruelty Puffs by landing light and heavy attacks. Now, my guess is light attacks, I mean, you know, you could do a five-hit light combo of all lights, and then you could follow that up with parrying and a heavy, you know? Uh, so, or I could you could do, like, one light and one heavy, or maybe even get two lights in and a heavy in, depending on how your stun duration is. So I'm really, really going to be fascinated about this, because it doesn't look like it really is going to matter in that sense with signature ability, and, of course, my six-star Gamora is not awakened. But, uh, yeah, rebalance signature ability that can be reused during the fight. That's exciting. Rebalance special attack effects with greater utility. New and updated synergies. Uh, so thank you also to Otriox for showing us those early. 
And then other improvements, Alliance Auto Join. This thing sounds like a bad Tinder date experience. Find your next great alliance with the new Alliance Auto Join feature. The search system automatically tries to find you an active alliance that suits you. Uh, if you try this, let me know. That sounds like a bad blind date to me. How to play updates, new format update content, how to play modules. I mean, that's what YouTube should be, right? YouTube should be the how to play updates, not this. We'll see if they're any good. Profile views from Alliance War Map. You are now able to access the Fender Summoner profile directly from the map. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, and then new story mode milestones. Apparently, these are not new, according to Kabam Mike, but they're just officially announced. Uh, Summoner should complete Act 1, Chapter 4, and earn a new title. Challenger, this will pop up, basically. And then we've got some bug fixes. Iron Fist, Diablo, Loki, and Rogue. Ronin, Thing, and uh, also just an issue where Mystic Daily Quest contained science champions, which is random and kind of funny. Um, okay, so my concern for your summoner advancement, for those of you who haven't received it, is that you get about what you're used to. I'm very curious if yours are better or worse than they normally are once they, God willing, come into your account. And I feel like this affects at least 20 to 30% of summoners because I've received a ton of messages from people asking about summoner advancement. Like I said, it did not happen to me. That happened uh, to come into my inbox a little bit earlier than normal. So I actually thought they had fixed it, ironically, instead of uh, the opposite, which appears to be the case. So uh, the other thing I just want to say before I end this video is Kabam needs to do a better job of sending these uh, notes to the in-game inbox directly. People should not have to hunt on the forums for the patch notes and sometimes they do that, sometimes they don't. They need to become more consistent with that so that people aren't having to ask YouTubers or people in their alliance about the summoner advancement issue. It should just be something that they hear about immediately. They don't have to fish for outside of the game. Just my two cents on that. So what do you think of all these changes? Are you excited about the Gamora buff? Are you annoyed with the summer advancement issues? Have you received more summer advancement than you would normally in the past like me? Comment below, let me know, and as always, thanks for watching and supporting my Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel.